subscribe to Learn and Tech channel and press the bell icon for latest update from Learn and Tech. Hey there everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and welcome to Learn and Tech. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create responsive login form using Bootstrap 4 for your website. So this is the login form which I've already created. We will create same kind of navigation form using Bootstrap 4. So if you're aware about the Bootstrap 3.7 version and not aware about the bootstrap 4 so there is few changes that bootstrap has made so i'll be talking about the changes that has been made specifically from the perspective of this particular login form so we'll see in this our code section first thing you need to do is create a folder structure where you can put your html css and all the image file reference file here so which i've already created with the login form and i've indexed html css file here an image folder where I have put my image so once that is created go to your code section this is my index.html and this is my global.css right now it's empty so first thing what I need to do is create HTML structure so this is the HTML5 structure and put the title here login form once that is there now I need to include source file for bootstrap which I can include by going get bootstrap.com right now the version is v4.1 click on get started there is your CSS CDN link copy this one paste it here go in the JS section there is three JS file one is jQuery file the second one is a proper .js, which is a new in bootstrap 4.0 and there is bootstrap main.js which we used to have in our earlier version of bootstrap also copy these file put in your bottom of the body section once all is done now we need to create a structure for our login form so there is a two way to create a structure either i can uh, do entire coding here or i can tell you a simple way which you can also follow to create a login form so I'll just take you there if you go in this getting started section there is a content tab once you go there in the right hand section there is a form once you click on a form you'll see that all the form properties are there for you all right so how can I get that form there is my form and this is my default form so what i need to do is copy the entire code from here and just paste it inside my body but before that i have to create a basic structure for bootstrap which i'll create by using section create a class container fluid now create a section also you can also create a div i'm using html5 tag so that's why i'm creating the section here now create a row class again section create some grid system here so i'm gonna create call 12 so if you remember in bootstrap earlier version how we write the call is call like suppose i am doing it for small and then we define the grid like this but in bootstrap 4.0 for an extra small we do not need to include access here we can directly write call hyphen the whatever <coughs> size of our grid we want to show on that particular screen size all right so this is there and one more uh, md and i will make it three all right so now this is my column section and i'll put my form code here now let me just do a quick formatting of that once it is restructured i need to uh, remove the unnecessary thing which i don't need like this label because i don't need this label section also a small tag here 
remove this likewise once that is done now I'll check in browser how my form is looking like so right now this is what my form it's look like and we need to create it like this all right so one thing I need to include is a heading in the top of the form so I'll just go in my form section and include a h4 tag here and we'll write login form here see in browser this is how it's looking right now so I'll add some custom CSS to my login form so that I can enhance uh, the look and feel of this particular login form so right now if I make it in a big screen this is how it's looking like so first thing I need to include here is a background color and then bring it to a center and provide a border radius for this particular section so first thing what we'll do is we'll create a class in our CSS to include style for this particular section so go in your CSS section for body add a background color and it will be f5 6 8 3d and padding top will be 25 vh vh is viewport height and then i'll create a style for form which background color i will put white and then i'll create a class which i'll create later on and i'll create a class form container here in form container i will include a border radius which is around 10 pixel and in also include padding padding will be 30 pixel and then our box shadow which will be like 0 0 10 0 right now all right so what i need to do is i need to include this form container class in html section in my form here let's see how it's look in browser it's just not reflecting there cause <coughs> i haven't referenced my css file here so what i need to do first is link my css file here which is in css folder and the name of css file is global.css done so right now you can see that how it's coming up here pretty much cool likewise the same what we have created here we need to include few more things here so now first thing what i need to do is i need to bring this particular login form in a center so in a bootstrap there is a class uh, called justify content center which i'll include in my row section here if i include a class called justify hyphen content hyphen center so what it will do it will bring your form in the center of your page this is all right and for our text what i need to do is i need to add some classes in h4 section also so first thing what i have to do is text center which is a bootstrap class also to make a text center and then font weight font weight 
bold we'll see how it's look now so this is the way how it's looking in your browser and if you compare with this form it's looking pretty much same but what I need to do now is have to bring all these you know item in a center also for that purpose what I need to do is in my button class I need to include a button block class button block which will make my button to full width all right so now you can see your login form is pretty much same and one thing we need to include here is this particular icon in the top of the form so how we can do that we'll have to create a css class and then we'll call that particular class in our form so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in my html section and above the form i'm going to create an image tag here and i will include my image user.png here we'll see how it's look in browser right now this is how it's looking uh, i can provide width and height all these to this particular but i'll create a class bg here background image and just add bg class in css once the class is there just define the width which will be like 60 pixel and height will be 60 pixel also then I'll include position which will be absolute then I'll provide margin from top which will be around minus 35 pixel this is a css hack you can include and from left it will be around 40 pixel we'll see how it's coming up there so instead of pixel i'll include 40 percent now you can see that it's coming in the center of your page and when you make it smaller for your mobile device this is how your form looks like so it is pretty much cool and responsive you can create for your all the mobile devices when i stretch it it will look like this so this is it for this particular tutorial you can create a beautiful interactive login form for your website thank you so much for watching learn and tech if you haven't subscribed learn and tech channel yet Please do subscribe and keep watching Learn Tech. Thank you so much.